What is your brand? Um, do you even have one? A brand isn't necessarily what you do for a living, although it might be, because it's an identifier of your life. Uh, for example, if I say Crystal Palace, then you might think of Buck Owens. If I say Gene Simmons, you probably think of Kiss. Or if you're my age and a surfer, and I say Lightning Bolt, you think of Jerry Lopez. A person's brand is a life identifier for them. Today's interview isn't with a famous personality, but it is someone whose brand truly identifies their lifestyle. This person is John from Bakersfield Motorcycle Company, or BMC for short. He has spent his life with two wheels. Whether it was motorcycles or bicycles, John's brand truly is BMC. Currently, he has a couple of wonderful bikes, including an absolutely stunning 1975 Boltaco Alpina 350 that sits with pride in his living room. But the bike we're looking at more closely today is a 2008 Triumph T100 Scrambler that is one of the most uniquely built yet highly detailed bikes I've seen. As you will see, this bike is his brand and identifies him. So t tell us a little bit about the bike, John. What are we what are we looking at here then? Well, this started as a uh, stock 2008 Triumph Bonneville, modern Bonneville, and uh, I bought it from a guy who had modified somewhat, made a cafe racer out of it, and he had put a grand total of maybe 700 miles on it or something. So I got it from him, and I had been wanting to do kind of a a scrambler tribute type yeah. bike for probably 10 years i just wasn't able to get it. once i got this bike though and i had the right it was just the timing was perfect so i just started implementing all the things i had been thinking about for, so i knew exactly where i was going with the bike did a lot of mods when so i mean there's things like like down here the the, the bottle opener Right. I mean, is this one of those things where it's like, I'm going to put a bottle opener on my primary cover? Or is that just... That was, that's that that, and... that's just something that happened right at the end. Like, um, I was at the Home Depot and I saw boxes of bottle openers, okay, silver and black. And I go, I, I didn't think it out. I go, well, I, I mean, I think it was four or five bucks. So I just bought it and it came and it just bolted right up. Right up. And, you're done. and I said, well, it's, the bottle's going to hit here. But I went and bought a bottle. Uh -huh. I, I, tried, I bought it. a soda. <laughs> and, it, it. And, and it does hit, but it just pops it right off. So it'll work for sodas and beers and stuff. I mean, yeah. I can't believe there isn't anything on this bike that you haven't touched, though. That's pretty much true. Because, I mean, I look at like the Zard. Where in the world did you find the, the, the Zard header muffler system? I, I had to go directly to Zard in Italy. Okay. So you've uh, touched almost every piece of this bike. I mean, it's, it's, and it, the more I look, the more I start seeing, I mean, even the, the pegs, um, mm -hmm. the, the, where your ignition switch is, right. the yeah, triples, these, the, the, the brackets for the headlight. But these triples are from Italy. Those are not Triumph. These are aluminum. Okay. They're very nice. By Turbo has the, you know, that company. The, the inserts? Yeah, it's a bi-turbo. Okay. Makes the inserts internals. Uh, and they work. I, it, it's, you know, it's not a long travel or anything. Right, but, right. But I wanted to change the, change the damping and, and just a couple clicks. And I, I actually could feel it. It was kind of neat. And you're good. Um, and I think a lot of people are guilty of overdoing the blackout thing. And then pretty soon it just looks uninteresting to me. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the handlebars, I got to mention, these are stainless steel and okay. made in America by Richard Pollock of Mule Motorcycles. And these are his flat track bar. Oh. And they're on my other Bonneville as well. And Richard Pollock is, I call him a master builder. This guy builds beautiful Triumph 
bikes like this and Harley Sportsters. Any race is flat track with Hondas and stuff. Okay. So, so why Triumph, John? Why? I mean, you've got a Kawasaki here, and and but but, but Triumph seems to be your passion. Why is that? Well, it's pretty simple uh, for me, I guess. Uh, when I was a kid at 15, I got a job in a motorcycle shop in Hollywood, California. I got a Honda 305 Scrambler so I could get to and from work. I didn't know how blessed I was, but they took the money out of my paycheck until it was paid for. But the bike that every, everybody else rode was a Triumph of something. Okay. You know, there were trophies and Bonnevilles and stuff, and, and that's the bike I wanted. And, uh, I, you know, I've had vintage stuff along the way. But I, I like the modern ones. They just, they're so, they run so good and they just don't break and you can just ride them yeah, all the time yeah. and push the button and it starts. And so I wanted, you know, and I had that green one over there since 2001. Okay. So it's 22 years old. The only time it, anything's been done to the bike is when we did the valve adjustment. Yeah. Yep. And, Usually and then and tires stuff. and, and chains and sprockets, just wear items. So these are super reliable bikes. They they have the look and they have the sound that I want, you know. But it's motorcycling 101. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know. And uh, so that's why the Triumph. And 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 you can I this is my take on this bike, this this generation from 2001 like that one up to about 2015 is I say they're the last of the honest motorcycles. Yeah. They're very honest like anybody with any mechanical skill can get in here and really tinker around and take the air box off or leave it on and jet it or not jet it, you know, or even with the fuel injection, which happened a little later, like in 2009. Right, right. Um, and, and one of the things that, that's that's on this bike that it, it comes from from BMC is the fork brace, correct? Oh, I, have, I have fork braces I saw on my website okay. that are kind of like the scrambler style. Yep, yep. And then I wanted to put a fender, but so I had to manufacture, fabricate this brace to, to fit the fender. Okay. So it was a kind of a hybrid between using the same dimensions, but make the shape contour with the fender. So this is all special. You don't okay. go down to the store and buy this or get on the internet yeah, and, yeah. and order this. It, it's interesting that this fender is from a Yamaha 650. Oh, okay. And the rear fender is from a CB750 Honda, 1970s. And then you just have those sitting in the shop and you tried them uh, and they have a fit? I bought them and thought they would work and okay. they did. So, and then, yeah, so that rear fender and this, and they both have this this uh, lifted edge. Yeah. So they kind of, mat, you know, just kind of, and then I, they were both chrome, but I, I kind of burnished them out with a little <laughs> bit of a, uh, steel wool yep, yep. and uh and it just gave it that look it's a, th this bike it it's not designed to be like perfect it's, it's supposed to look like it's been through the desert a few times yeah or yeah and and and, and 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 your point i mean the you, you said you built this bike to represent bakersfield motorcycle company mm -hmm. and um I mean, it truly does because the 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 stuff you do for the for BMC, you guys aren't you're not a big corporation with 20 employees and <laughs> yeah. you know importing stuff from China and pumping it out. I mean, this is really cool stuff that you think about and your purpose towards in creating with with the with the with the whole product line. Thank you, I appreciate that because it's true. Like this bike, there's a lot of inspirations and stuff, but I made this bike. You know, yeah. I built I built this right here. Uh, the the ideas for the shirt designs, everybody, you know, is inspired from something. Yeah. You know, but the merchandise, the 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 um, the hair scramble mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I mean, it's really unique and different. You know, it, it, it's it's you. That's not like something that some corporate company would come up with and produce. Right. So you the, know, it's it's, it's like, a lifestyle. Like thing. this is the tiger design. I call it tiger. The hair scramble is similar. That's the newest one. Um, I've, I've got, so some of it I've completely thought of my, on myself and some of it I've worked with an artist. I'll say, Oh, I, I like this tiger idea. Next thing you know, he's shooting me something. I said, just to give it a vintage feel. And that's what I'm kind of going for, like mainly sixties 
you know, 60s and right, right. somewhere from the late 50s to the early mid 70s. But it, but it's a lifestyle that you've lived through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so it's, 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 it's innate and ingrained in you. Right. It is. You know? and so like, I don't know where this this design, you know, like I said, it, it's collaboration between this artist, Jack, and myself. Just like there's a lot of things I you're, don't You're the designer. And, yeah, and, and, I want to be the, the designer. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's a, the detail graphic artist guy. And then something that also that's on your site, and it's kind of a kind of interesting dichotomy where you have the clothing, you've got the fender brace, a couple accessories, and now seat covers. Yeah, seats. Yeah. And where did where did that come from? Um <clears throat> I did a couple and um I've done seats for myself. Um I built a couple bikes and I had seats and I've got a very good upholsterer here in town that I, I work with and I really like him. And so last summer I had a, uh, a guy reach out and he wanted the fork brace and he wanted a bunch of stuff that I normally don't do. And I just said, you know, I'm going to take this on as a challenge. And he want, he says, I don't see the seats. You know, I think I'll just add seats. Now, you know, that was probably last June yeah. and it's taken a while to get it organized but now they're on the website and it but it it's a lot of fun and the people that own these triumphs are really they know when once you get involved you, you're either it works for you yeah it's, yeah it's your I, style I, I that. or it's not you yeah know? yeah well that's cool it's it's nice to see something like bakersfield motorcycle company that just involves your lifestyle it's not just something you do nine to five i mean it right. truly is ingrained in what you do yeah you know Thank and, you. and and everything i mean you can see it in the, in the bikes that you own um uh, a garage full of equipment and gear um you know and and even the the bull taco in the living room <laughs> yeah. you know and the old drum kits and stuff right uh it, it's just it's great to see that you know invested that much into the brand and and, and what's out there so oh, yeah it's it, it it's something i i wanted to do for a long time and it finally just said i'm gonna do it and uh and yet, Bakersfield really does have a huge motorcycle history. There is. There's some amazing stuff here, and I'm just I'm just blown away. And in in, in the coming um, series, we're going to take a look at some amazing motorcycles and garages um, and shops that guys have, and and, That's and, great. and the work. The culture is just phenomenal. I think BMC does a great job of being that pillar of representing that culture. People it, it really people does. like it. They're not offended by it. I'm sort of surprised that the Guys who I all look up I'm to, very grateful to the guys in Bakersfield who raced, and I I saw them doing really big level things. Yeah, from racing nationals or you know uh, racing at Willow Springs Road Racing or flat track or scramble tracks back when they raced BSAs and Triumphs, Royal Enfields, you know, for, yeah, because that's what they that's had. That's what they had. And I'm a kid looking at these guys. Well, a lot of these guys are still around, and they've all accepted this they just like it yeah. you know and yep. it's like a i i feel that um in a way that the company itself has been like a nexus so i could talk to them they could oh, talk yeah. to me and then all of a sudden somebody else and they know each other and i'm just standing there going hey that's cool this is cool yeah. uh, Bakersfield, yep. <laughs> and we're all going on big rides and yeah and it's yeah. not about me it's not a club or anything it's a it's just a company. It's, but it's, like, it's the culture. Yeah. yeah it's, it's the culture. It's the culture. It, yeah. Thank you. That's exactly yeah. correct. I, people, yeah. Well, I, I, I appreciate you taking the time, John, just to sit down and look at this. And, uh, um, yeah, if, 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 you know, every, like I said, every time I look at this bike, I see something else. It's like, wait a minute. How long has that been there? You're just like, it's been there forever, Steve. You just haven't noticed. Well, the first you thing know? I did, the first thing I did when I got the bike, I put the handlebars on. I, I wrote, I got delivered, called Mark Miranda, and we put the handlebars on right then, took the seat off, had a cafe racer seat, nixed that, and then I put it on my lift, got the bike suspended, I took the wheels off, and then went down to Buchanan and had the wheels built. Okay. So these are very special wheels. Yeah, they are. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. And that's an 18 on the rear, so you can use that tire. If that was a 17, which they come with, you wouldn't be using that right, tire. Right, right. So... The stance of the bike is altered slightly, but it's um, it's it rides really well too. Yeah, it it looks beautiful even to the, up to the floating disc on the front. I mean, that's just, oh yeah, these are beautiful. You know, the 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 disc work and the brakes are just everything is so beautiful on it. Thanks, but, man. But um, but like I said, John, thanks for taking the time to just sit down and 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 talk about I, this I'm, and look at this stuff. I'm flattered that you, you know, come and that uh, and that. Uh, <laughs> BMC is really truly reflected in the culture of 
of you know Bakersfield and the whole motorcycle um, uh, venue that's going on. But uh, thanks, I appreciate your time. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah.